You know, I'm the child of civil rights activists, was a black father and a white mother that got married when it was still illegal in most states. And it is not a theoretical question because I also have a partner who is the son of a Holocaust survivor. And in a city that we love because of its diversity, raising two kids who are in an interfaith family. And we have seen a exponential rise in anti-Semitism, in Islamophobia. Yes, just as Andrew said, an appalling rise of hate crimes against Asian residents. And what is so true is for Black folks, anti-Black violence, and also our immigrant communities, that has been a reality of life even before Donald Trump was president. And I do point to him because it does matter what leaders say. And we have seen a stoking of blame game and finger pointing and who our leaders are matters. For me, as someone who spent my whole career as a civil rights lawyer and racial justice advocate, but also who worked in City Hall with the human, uh, with our uh, Commission on Human Rights that reported directly to me, having served on the Board of Human Rights as well, that this is about taking strong steps and measures on enforcement, ensuring that we are having a presence where we need it to protect folks, but a leadership that will create bridges and create bridges across community. But if we do not integrate, if we do not think of housing integration, school integration as a solution to what ails us, we are missing the boat and I will pay attention to that. But I also want to say- Thank you. It, Thank you. You're at time. 